Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Inspired Birdie and I have another baby video for you today. This is something that's new on my channel so I'm certainly not changing my channel by any means if you're one of my returning subscribers. This is just something that I wanted to add in addition to what I'm doing. I am a new mom and I wanted to share some tips on what I felt was very helpful. I really highly relied on YouTube when I was trying to decide what products I was going to need. I probably watched over a hundred different videos to look for commonalities and really be able to figure out what was the best options and what I would probably need. So today I wanted to share with you guys what my top 10 baby items or products are for zero to three months, as well as my top five luxury items if you are looking to spend a little extra. I'm going to also share with you my favorite apps, both free apps and ones that you can purchase. And hopefully this will help some of you guys out there as well thinking, what do I need and what should I get? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. And as a reminder, I did a video on how to save money if you are going to be purchasing your baby items new and online. Don't forget to sign up on Ebates. It is absolutely worth it. Why not get some cash back? Well, you have to buy items anyways. Totally worth it. Plus, it comes to your house, so there's no need to run out. Right now, you see me just going through Google Images on so many different baby items out there. There's so much to choose from, so let's get started on my top items. Okay, so my must-have number one is the Halo Sleep Sack. I absolutely just love this product. I bought two of them and I did use them every single night for I would say the first two to two and a half months. So this is a really easy way to swaddle your child. I did try using blankets and you know the very traditional ways they do in hospitals and it just didn't work. This is so easy. It is done with a Velcro. There's really no thought that you have to put behind it and I knew that my child was secure, not too tightly and not too loosely and she slept absolutely beautifully. So these are a little bit more on the expensive side but definitely a huge investment and in my opinion, totally worth it. Highly recommend this product. All right, my next baby must have number two is the Rock and Play. I absolutely love this product. It is so amazing. I had an absolutely incredibly fussy baby for the first two and a half months, very touchy, very sensitive. So she wouldn't relax easily anywhere really, unless she was feeding. And other than that, she just wouldn't. So this rock and play was so amazing. It was a gift given to me at my baby shower. It's easily portable. As you can see, there are several that you can choose from. Uh, it very easily folds right up so you can put it away for storage, or you can take it with you to friends and family's houses. It's a great place to house your child. Uh, they each do different things. I had this one, which had the soothing rocker on it, as well as it would play some soothing sounds and there's a timer as well that you can set for it to go off the one thing I will definitely note about it if you choose to get this product is be very careful that your child doesn't become dependent on it so this is a, one of the items that our child would nap in and it became very addictive and let's just say it was very tough getting her out of it. We had to do some sleep training, but at the end of the day, it wasn't as difficult as I thought. Uh, and yeah, this product was just absolutely amazing. And overall, I'm very happy that we had it. Uh, it helped in so many situations and I have read that it's gotten a lot of really great reviews. All right, baby must have number three for me was a sound machine. These are just absolutely amazing to help put your baby to sleep. It's also really great at um, blocking out noise at night. So I already had this one. It was my own personal sound machine, so I didn't need to buy one, but I absolutely love it. It is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it has a lot of different sounds. So it's not just the white noise, um, but it has like the rain, the brook, the ocean, thunder, all of those different sounds that you can set it by timer or you can just leave it on all night if that's what you prefer absolutely loved it I also have dogs who do sleep in our bedroom uh, they're crated at night and I found that this also helped with them because I do have one dog that would bark at every little sound and he never did when we use this machine so highly recommend it but there are several different ones that you can choose from this is just the one that I used we also had the baby shisher as well on her stroller 
All right, there's a lot of products out there that are just kind of like no brain givens, but I threw this one in there anyways. I mean, this is just like face cloths, right? You're gonna need them anyways. But I wanted to throw it into my top 10 because it's just, I didn't realize how essential a burp cloth is. I think when I first got myself set up, I had like six to eight of them. But as your baby grows, let me just say, I learned a lot. So this is definitely something I wanted to stock up on. I'm showing you guys some of the cheaper options right now because burp cloths are incredibly expensive or at least they can be so I'm showing you the first two here that you're seeing this one and the one prior are the ones that I uh, really stuck to I thought that they were really great quality they're really great price uh, they're from Bed Bath & Beyond or you can always you know go more high quality if you'd like like these contoured ones are great as well I did get a set of contour work contours to your neck which is awesome but as you can see they're quite more expensive and I would rather pay 30 bucks and get three packs of the other one giving me nine burp cloths instead of just three but at the end of the day it's going to be whatever your preference is i just wanted to show you some different options on what i ended up going with all right, baby must have number five is the Aiden and Anis swaddle blankets. Now there's a lot of mixed reviews on these. Some parents will say an absolute must have. Others will say they didn't use theirs at all. I'm going with the absolute must have because I've used this in so many different situations, not just as a swaddle blanket because I ended up going with the halo, but I just love carrying this in my baby carrier, you know, going to the doctor's office. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You can easily pull out a blanket, use it as a burp cloth. You can use it as a cover for breastfeeding you can use it over top of your stroller just so many different options that you can use these for and they're breathable and light which I really really love so I'm putting this in my top 10 must-have plus they're really really big which is what I like a lot of baby blankets um, aren't too big and these ones are really really big and don't take up a lot of space whatsoever as you can see here on the screen it just shows you some examples of different ways that you can use these blankets so I am putting this in a definite uh, good investment now alternatively if you don't want to go with the Aiden and Innes here are some other options on uh, carrier covers that you can go with I did end up getting both and I love 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 my carrier uh, what I love about this product is one, it keeps germs away. So you don't have to worry about, you know, strangers coming up and checking out your baby when you're at the doctor's office or out shopping. You can use it to cover yourself um, if you're breastfeeding out in public. And down the road, when your child no longer needs this on a car seat, it's a really great option because it fits perfectly over a high chair in a restaurant or over a shopping cart at a store so you can protect them from germs and things like that. It's also really great to protect from sun many different options and they're so beautiful looking so this is an alternative or you can get both I would also highly recommend one for the winter as well um, or for just cooler seasons so you can get special ones for the winter this one would probably be better for like I would say fall and cooler um, seasons they do have ones designed for the winter where you don't even have to worry about dressing your baby because they're perfectly gonna be kept warm in the one that they're in but these are really great options to have as well to protect from cold wind and things like that absolute must-have number seven is a no sucker you can use any one that you want I'm sure they go by different names other than no sucker but I highly recommend the nose Frida I can't even tell you how many times I use this. My child always has a stuffed up nose, um, especially when she cries. So these things are absolutely amazing to clear out your child's nose, especially at such a young age when they could only breathe through their nose. So I can't even tell you, absolute, absolute must have to have some form of one of these. This is just the one that I preferred. I know it looks really disgusting if you've never seen this or used it before. You're literally sucking the boogers out yourself. It isn't as disgusting as it looks and you're 100% protected. Nothing is coming into your mouth. You can also combine it with a saline mist. Here are some options. I do really like the Boogie Saline Mist. Um, you can also get natural ones as well that have like no scent to pair with the No Sucker. And then here are the filters that you can also purchase. These are just extra filters to use to put into your No Sucker. Um, yeah, so I highly, highly, highly recommend this product. My number eight must have is a set of nail clippers and file. I went ahead with this set here. This is also 
um, the same brand as the No Sucker, so the Frida brand. And I'll tell you, as a new parent, it's really intimidating to cut your baby's nails, afraid that you're going to, you know, break the skin, uh, accidentally clip them. So I actually used this nail file, which is super soft and gentle. I used this for the first two months because I was just too afraid to use the nail clipper. So I highly, highly recommend this specific uh, nail clipper. All right, my baby must have number nine is hand sanitizer. Um, you're gonna be changing a lot of diapers. I don't need to tell you that. Everybody knows that. And just having hand sanitizer on the change table while I'm changing diapers to use before and after is so essential. I went with this brand, Baby Ganic, just because it's all natural. I know it's safe for my baby. Um, so yeah, I just highly recommend this specific one, but I'm sure there's a lot of different uh, brands out there that are probably you know organic and baby safe as well. This is just the one that I use. I tend to use a lot of Baby Ganic products when it comes to cleaning and things like that so definitely hand sanitizer all right my must-have number 10 is a baby carrier this is just so super helpful um, as a new parent who just had a baby you know your baby's gonna want to be carried around a lot and this was just so helpful for me to carry my baby around and be hands-free plus if you have a c-section like I did uh, super super helpful in carrying your baby around there's a lot of options out there and you really have to find what works for you what works for me is not necessarily gonna work for you I went with this type I'm actually gonna show you in a second the exact one that I use but what I liked about these ones is that they have like the one I have which is similar to this one has a back support so right here is the one that I use and the back support was really essential to me because I do get a lot of back pain easily and I just love the design of this one um, it also has many different uses so you can see here it's a six in one so it grows along with you and your baby so you can definitely get a lot of use out of this whether it's you or it's daddy who's gonna be using it now alternatively there's these ones as well I did buy this one as well and I only used it I think twice it just didn't work for me I found it very difficult to get my baby in and out of the carrier but like I said it's up to you everybody has their own preferences I know people who absolutely love this type of sling carrier so you just got to figure out what's gonna work for you but I highly recommend a baby carrier All right, guys, moving on to my luxury items. This is if you want to spend some extra money on some items that I recommend. So number one is this item here, the Ingenuity InReach Mobile Lounger. I've done a review on this product, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and check out my review. I'll link it at the end of this video, but I absolutely love this product. Um, I was the type of person that didn't want you know baby stuff all over my house, so this was absolutely amazing to have on my main floor where I do a lot of the cooking and stuff like that. That, um, or entertaining when you have guests over and I just love this product mainly because of the height and the wheels so I liked the height of it I can you know put my baby in it when she was newborn and you know make her feel like she was at level with me um, so like bringing her to the dining room table when we would eat dinner things like that and just so easily to move around with the wheels so absolutely love this product you know anytime we would have guests over to entertain and she would become tired I would just put her in this she could take a little snooze but also feel like she was part of the group so check out my review if you want more info on it love 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 this product and definitely it was a good investment for me my luxury item number two is the boppy pillow love 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 this pillow um, really great place to put baby down I used it a lot of times on my bed so for example if you're breastfeeding and then you need a place to put your baby down yeah you can put them down on the bed but I really liked how this was a little bit uplift so they're not flat on their back so like there's as you can see a part of it is like angled upwards so I really really like that um, yeah just a really great place to be able to put them in they're cozy and safe I wouldn't leave them unsupervised but it's a nice little cozy place to put baby you can also use it on the floor as well and there's several different colors to choose from so for me this was a really great investment my baby is now five and a half months and she's still using it so it just goes to show how long I was able to get use out of this product so absolutely Absolutely love it and highly recommend it. 
All right, guys, luxury item number three is audiobooks. If you're not already subscribed to audiobooks, I definitely recommend it. This is what helped me get through those really super long feedings that it takes for a newborn baby. Instead of watching TV, I was able to listen to an audiobook. I listen to a lot of like baby books. Um, but really, it's for anything. I just love this option. I would highly recommend checking out audiobooks to help you pass those really, really long feeding periods. And you know what? It's a really good investment. In Canada, it's $15 a month, but you also get a free book every single month as well. Luxury item number four is a wipe warmer. This is definitely not a must have. It is a luxury, but I highly recommend it. Nothing better than having a nice warm wipe to use on your baby's bum, especially when you're having to change their diaper several times throughout the day. So I just absolutely love the product. I love having a nice warm wipe to wipe on her and know that, you know, she's not um, having that startle of something cold on her bum several times a day. So that's definitely a luxury, but I did put it in my um, top five list. And can also be just a really nice maybe registry item that you can add to your baby registry if you're having a baby shower. It's not too much in price. Uh, and yeah, just a nice product to have. All right, and my final luxury item is of course a baby swing. Uh, lots of different opinions about these, whether you should get one or not get one or what kind to get. Babies are so fussy and not every baby is going to like the same type of swing or glider. And there are so many to choose from out there. This is just what worked for my baby. So I have two. I had the Graco glider and I also got a Fisher Price swing. My baby hated the swing for the first two and a half to three months uh, and only liked the glider. And then at about two and a half to three months, loved her swing. So it just goes to show how they also change. But this to me was a lifesaver. It was one of the only products that calmed my baby. Like I mentioned earlier, I had a very fussy, touchy baby for the first two to three months, very colicky. And this glider just really helped to soothe her. It was one of the only things that actually helped to calm her down. So I personally highly recommend it. Of course, it's not somewhere you wanna plop your baby and leave them in all day. Uh, it's just a nice product to have to help soothe them and a place to put them if you need to do something. Now, another really tidbit is I don't, um, I'm not sponsored at all by any of these stores that I showed you these products on. I'm just showing you where I got the product from. Some of these products are really expensive. So this glider, for example, is very expensive. I always go to Babies R Us under deals to check out what their deals are. And that's how I purchased a lot of my products. I did not pay full price for any of these. For example, that glider is over 300. I only paid 130 for it because I got it when it was on a really great deal. Same with this baby swing. So that's what I did while I was pregnant. For the first, um, I'd say when I was about two to three months pregnant is when I started shopping. And I would say about 90% of all the items I bought, they were all when they were on major discount deals. So just a little um, piece of info. If you weren't aware of the deal of the week, they always have deals of the week and they do have deals that go up to 50, 60, 70% off on really big ticket price items. So that is my final luxury item, a swing, definite must have. Don't use it as much now that my baby's six months, but it's still a really great option that I can put her in if I wanna quickly do something like vacuuming or something like that and she's a hundred percent contented all right guys finally moving on to my favorite baby apps here is number one this is a free app called the baby tracker i found this app incredibly helpful for the first i would say two months to really keep track of my pumping or my breastfeeding, how many poops my baby had, how much sleep my baby was getting, any activities I did with her. And when I would go to my doctor's appointment, I was able to easily open up this app and give information because it also does a trending page as well. So you can easily see like, oh, on average, my baby is pooping eight times a day, or not pooping, but having eight wet diapers a day and four poops a day, things like that. So really easy way to keep all of that data, which is super important because your doctors always want to know for the first few months to make sure that your baby is properly on track and this app is completely free.
All right, guys, here's the second app that I really, really like is the Johnson Bedtime. And what I primarily use this for was one, there's a sleep test that you can do to determine um, how your baby is sleeping, what their sleep score is, and tips on tricks on how you can make it better. There's a lot of other uses aside from just that, but I also like it for the bedtime music. So as you can see on the right, there's a ton of songs you can choose from. You can put them together in your own playlist. And these are the songs that I play at night uh, when it's bedtime so that my baby knows when she hears this specific song, which for her is the lullaby and good night. She knows it's bedtime and she always gives me this look like, oh, it's bedtime. So I really, really like this app for that feature and for the sleep tracker um, quiz that you can do. And you can do it several times to see if your baby's score has changed. All right, app number three, guys, is Baby Pics. This is also a free app. Absolutely love this for taking photo. Actually, it's not for taking photos. It's for decorating your photos. So I, you can use this from pregnancy right up to your child is a child. So it's not just for babies. And what I love about it is you can stamp your photos, make some really fun memories. So things like my first haircut, my first step, my first everything, really, my first holiday for Christmas. It's just a really fun way to... Uh, decorate your photos, stamp them, and create really great memories. So I highly recommend it. It is free. And like I said, this goes from pregnancy right up to your kid being, you know, a kid, six, seven, eight, whatever it is. So definitely love this app. All right, app number four is the Cradle app. This is definitely an iOS only app, but I'm sure there are options on other platforms. So if you are using Android, check out to see what sound options you have. I love, love, love this item. It is free, but there are in-store purchases. So I ended up just paying for it so that I can get access to all of the different sounds. Um, many different uses. So you can use it for sleeping tips, for animations, and for sound. I specifically use it for sound, and I specifically use it for the sounds that you see on the uh, far right side yes I showed you a sound machine earlier but this is really great if you're on the go uh, I love putting on the Zen music for her when we're doing like bath time I love the Zen the ocean the whales things like that so I definitely would recommend this app for really fun sounds that you can use when you're on the go or if you don't have a sound machine you can just use this instead plus the sleeping tips are really great as well all right, here is my number five app. This is a paid app in Canada. It's $5.49. It is called Baby Sparks. I love this app. If you are a new parent and you're just not sure what kind of activities you could be doing with your child to help them develop, this is a really fantastic app. So what happens is every day I log in, I click uh, play with and it will bring me a schedule of different activities that I can do with my child based on her development and her age So it does keep track of how she's developing and what her age is and what type of milestones She should be reaching and it will make recommendations You can see the recommendations on the far right side further to that what I absolutely love is if you click on the recommendation every single recommendation comes with a quick short video showing you what it looks like so turning head side to side if i was to click on that it would show me a video of what they're meaning by that so love 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 this just to help keep me on track of activities i can do with my baby all right, guys, here is my final app. It is the Wonder Weeks. This is another paid app. Um, it is more expensive, though, because I think it's like $1.40 a month. So you have to pay monthly. I think there is a yearly subscription, but it is quite high. And this is going to be one of those items where it's a take it or leave it. I used it for a while. I'm starting to phase out of it. What it is, is it just explains to you the different leaps that your child is going through and how long they're going through that leap and what are certain things that you can expect from that leap. So major your mental development leaps, things like that. There's also a chart that you can follow and it will tell you, you know, oh, your baby's going to be fussy this week or your baby's going to be having a really good week. And it's one of those controversial things because I have read reviews where people are saying, oh, this is completely 100% on based on my baby and other people who say this is totally off. My baby's not like this at all. So it's one of those hit and misses. I really liked it in the beginning and now I'm, I'm more phasing out of it. If I had to choose between, you you know two paid apps I would definitely go with baby sparks over this one I did forget to mention actually baby sparks is a monthly subscription so it definitely is more of a money investment because the 550 is monthly but I definitely recommend it 
So there you have it, my top 10 baby must-haves, my top six apps and luxury items. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, these are just my personal opinions. There's so many opinions out there that, you know, everybody has on what works for them. So I would highly recommend looking, if you're looking to watch videos, just watch different opinions and see what the commonalities are in products that people are recommending. So again, this is just my personal opinion. It may not work for you. And by no means am I sponsored by any of these products. Products. but what I will do is I'll leave you a list below if there's any products that you're interested in so that you have a nice list uh, below that you can refer to all right guys if you're pregnant or just had a baby congratulations thank you so much for watching everybody and love and peace to you all bye